Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name's Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I used a 3D printed pattern to cast a solid bronze spinning top. I started this project by designing a simple top using Fusion 360. The black and white models will be 3D printed and used as patterns to make a sand mold. The gold model shows what the finished casting should look like. This is the 2Auto Pyramid A1.1. 2Auto was nice enough to send me this printer and a tabletop furnace to use in my videos. This printer has a build surface of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. It has a Titan style direct drive extruder, a filament runout sensor, and dual Z motors. It also has silent stepper motor drivers, which makes the printer much nicer to be around while it's printing. I've been using this printer for a few weeks now, and I have to say I've been very impressed with the print quality. Having a larger printer to replace my older CR10 will be a great addition to the channel. If you're interested in possibly purchasing one for yourself, you can find an affiliate link in the description. Once the pattern was done printing, I glued the two pieces together with some super glue. Then using my benchtop lathe, I sanded the pattern smooth. A little primer filler and some more sanding and the pattern was ready to be used to make a sand mold. I'm not going to go into detail about how I made this mold, as the video is pretty straightforward. If you'd like to learn more about the mold making process, check out some of my other videos. To melt the metal for this casting, I'll be using the 2Auto Tabletop Melting Furnace. This is a great little furnace for small castings. It uses graphite crucibles that can hold up to 3 kilograms of copper and reaches its highest temperature in about an hour. This kit comes with the furnace, two crucibles, a small ingot mold, gloves, and lifting tongs. I really think these are great for beginners that want to get into metal casting but don't want to go through the trouble of building a large propane furnace. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can find a link in the description. For this casting, I'll be using some bronze that I had left over from previous projects. I set the furnace to 1100 degrees Celsius, which is about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, and waited for the metal to melt. About an hour later, the bronze was hot enough to be poured into the mold. Thank you. 
I let the mold cool down for a few minutes and then opened it up to see how the casting turned out. I was happy to see that the mold filled out properly and the casting looked great. I removed the excess metal with a hacksaw and then lightly filed down the rough areas before taking it over to the lathe. Once it was nice and smooth, I used a cutting tool to attempt to shape the end. Unfortunately, I didn't have the top clamped tightly enough in the chuck, and it popped out mid-cut, completely ruining it. After taking a few minutes to get over the disappointment of completely ruining the top, I went to work casting a new one. I used the exact same process to clean up this one, and when I got to the point where I needed to finish the ends, I just cut them off with a hacksaw. Then I clamped the top in the lathe and used some files to shape the ends. After a little polishing with some fine sandpaper, the top was finished. I'm happy with how this turned out. It's not a precision top by any means, but it spins well enough and it looks really nice. The process I used certainly isn't the best way to do this, but I wanted to see if it could be done. If I had a larger, more precise lathe, I would have just cast a large blank and then machined the shape of the top out of that. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.